working on a 2013 Ford Focus ST. Gonna show you really quick how to replace all four spark plugs and also the coils. So go ahead and pop your hood. So then with your hood pop, let's go ahead and remove this uh, engine cover here. This will just lift up, kind of just pops off of there. Just like that. You can see you got these little uh, areas here and they just clip into these uh, rubber grommets here. So with that engine cover off, that gives us easy access to all four spark plugs and coils. Um, the only thing is on this uh, last one here, we're gonna need to uh, get this intake out of the way. That way we can pop this coil and get to that spark plug there. So go ahead and grab a seven millimeter. Let's go ahead and loosen up that uh, hose clamp right there. And then go ahead and grab an eight millimeter. Let's go ahead and uh, remove this bolt here. Get that out of the way. Now we should be able to just pull this out of here and then kind of just tilt it back to get it out of the way. Let's go ahead and just pull that off. And then just kind of tilt this out of the way like that. That should give us enough room to get down in there. So next, let's go ahead and uh, disconnect all four coils. So you can see you got these tabs here. So you can just push down with your thumb. And those will just unplug like that. Just like that. Before I get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some compressed air and spray all along here just to make sure we get all that dirt and debris out of there. Next, we can go ahead and uh, pop off this wire loom here. That's on the coil there. Just kind of get something underneath there. And then just kind of get that out of the way like that. Next, grab an eight millimeter. Let's go ahead and remove this uh, bolt here, holding down our coil. Just kind of get that loose and it should come out nice and easy. that looks like and then what you can do is just go ahead and pull up on this coil here removing the whole coil with the boot just like that and then if you take a look you can see spark plug down in there uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some compressed air right now as well blow down in the holder just to make sure there's no dirt in there and then we can go ahead and remove the uh, spark plug next take a 5 8 uh, spark plug socket. You can see there's a rubber grommet in there. That's to help hold the spark plug on So when we pull it out, so go ahead and uh, Get the old plug out of there So get down on it You can kind of feel it latch onto there then go ahead and loosen it up that out the rest of the way here should come out by hand pretty easy and there's our old plug all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our old plugs and then our new ones and then also the old coil and the new coil so this vehicle has around 177,000 you can see this is an auto light spark plug so somebody's replaced it before because these don't come stock in the uh, focuses and auto light i don't really recommend it's kind of a cheaper brand so i'm going to replace those with uh these denso iridium tt's i got these off of amazon i'll put a link in the description but it's part number 4719 and then the uh coils so the reason I'm replacing the coils is I got a misfire on cylinder number three. So I figured I'll just do the plugs plus the coils on all four. But you can see this is a Ford Motor Company and this is uh, probably the original ones. And uh, I'll show you something here. So I went with the Denso 6736203. You can see these are made in the USA. And from what I've heard is Denso makes the uh, Motorcraft coils. But if you buy the Denza one, you get it at a cheaper price. So I'll show you. And I also got these off Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description for them. And if you take a look here, you can see 
that right here, it probably used to say Ford Motor Company. You can see DQ3NA. And if you look at the Motorcraft one, same exact thing, DQ3NA. And then there's also another part number under here, which they uh, scratched off as well. So this is pretty much a Motorcraft coil at a cheaper price. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take your new spark plug and these come pre-gapped so you don't have to gap them. Go ahead and pull that off. If you need to gap them, I believe it's a uh, 0.040 inches on these. But I'm gonna take some uh, anesthes here and just go ahead and coat these threads just a little bit. You don't need too much. And then just kind of work it around. And then let's go ahead and uh, stick this plug in. So then go ahead and uh, stick your spark plug into the uh, spark plug socket here. Get it locked into place kind of like that. And then let's go ahead and drop this down in here. And we'll go ahead and uh, just tighten this by hand. You always want to do that. You never want to use an impact or anything. Because you don't want to cross thread these. So get that uh, down in there nice and snug. Kind of like that. And then what we'll do is use a torque wrench. And you're gonna torque these to uh, 12 Newton meters or 106 inch pounds. So get your uh, torque wrench on there. Continue tightening. Just like that. Go ahead and remove all that. Next, grab your uh, new coil here and then just take some uh, dielectric grease like this. What I like to do, just put a little bit inside the boot here. Just kind of like that, don't need much. And then go ahead and uh, stick this down in here. Get it on top of the spark plug there. Push down. Kind of latches on there. Get your uh, coil bolt. Oops, that's the wrong one. It's actually a stud. Go ahead and get that started. Take your eight millimeter. Go ahead and uh, get that snug on there as well. Don't have to go too tight because that's just plastic. You don't want to break it. So just get it nice and snug. Then you can go ahead and plug in your coil here. And you'll hear it click. And then we can take this and stick it back over on top of there like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the other cylinders here. I'll probably uh, video the last one over there, but let me go ahead and uh, do these two here real quick. Okay guys, so with all three of those done, on this last one here, kind of the same thing as the first one, you got this little wire loom hanging on here on the coil stud. Let's get that out of the way. Let's kind of tilt that out of the way. And then I'm gonna use a quarter inch ratchet with the eight millimeter, just cause of the high clearance here. And even that one's kind of tight. So just break it free. Or you can use an eight millimeter wrench and work as well. Go ahead and spin that stud out of there. And same thing, pop that out of there. Our clearance here, we should. And we're actually hitting on the intake here. So we need to just shove it back a little bit more to get latched on there. And there's 
use that one. Grab your new plug. Stick that in. And let's go ahead and get that tightened up. Grab your new coil. You can see you already got some dielectric in there. And yeah, let's go ahead and set that down on there. Grab your stud. like that and then you can go ahead and get your intake put back on here just this slide right on just like that just double check make sure it's on there and you can go ahead and tighten up that hose clamp here your seven millimeter grab your eight millimeter Let's go ahead and stick this bolt back through there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Just like that. Then you can go ahead and grab your uh, engine cover here. Put that back in place. And then just kind of push down and that snaps into place. All right, so that's going to be it for the video. Again, this was a 2013 Ford Focus 2.0 liter ST. Went ahead and replaced all four spark plugs along with the coils. A really simple job to do on these cars. And hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.